Welcome back at 724 right now. Shark summer continues at Adventure Aquarium in Camden. So this is where you can get up close and personal with some sharks while learning about them and their friends in the sea. Rachel Moore shows us. Right now we are in Adventure Aquarium and this is the shark tunnel. You can see some of them going past us this morning, but you know what? There was somebody who had to wake up these sharks this morning. I do want to introduce you to the senior biologist here at Adventure Aquarium. This is Alexis Fleming. Thank you so much for joining us. So you're in charge. These are your babies. You're in charge of these guys. Okay, so tell me a little bit about sharks. Um, so these sharks specifically, we have three different species. We have sand tigers, sandbars, and nurse sharks. Um, there are 16 sharks in here total. Um, so these sharks are, can actually all be found off the coast of New Jersey, which is pretty cool. A lot of people don't realize that there's sharks. These are local sharks. <laughs> yes, of course. So um, these sharks get fed three times a week, um, which is another thing that people think is crazy because they think sharks need to eat all the time and every day. Um, it's going right over yeah, us. <laughs> they are not as ravenous and crazy as the media makes them. And I was going to say because they're in the tank with all these fish. I mean, fish are friends, not food, right? Yes, a lot of people are asking why are there fish in here with these sharks. So uh, because we feed them so often that they don't need to use that energy to chase a live fish. So right. And I mean, it's them. great that you have the environment that they would be in regularly anyway. Yes. What are some uh, misconceptions about sharks that you mentioned? Um, so like I mentioned before, they are man eating machines. They're always looking to you know, look out for humans and try to go for them. Um, so usually with that, it's always a mistake. It's always, they don't have hands, so they can't really investigate right. things with hands, so they usually use their mouths. Um, and then sometimes we just happen to look like seals, and a lot of times seals are their prey, so mm -hmm. a lot of people will just assume that sharks are out to get them. <laughs> Which they're not. They're not, we're not their kind of food. We're not their kind of uh, cuisine that they prefer. Alexis Fleming, thank you so much for joining us. I'm going to stick around here to see what else these sharks are doing, what they do in the morning. What's their morning routine? I'm not even sure, but uh, we'll have definitely more online at phl17.com. Reporting, I'm Rachel Moore.